a cross connection is when the system piping is connected to another source of water. Uh, for an example, it could be lawn irrigation systems or swimming pools. Backflow is when sometimes the hydraulic conditions within the water system can change and cause us the water to run backwards. Well, water backflow is two different ways, is back siphonage and back pressure. And when back siphonage occurs, that's when we lose system pressure, maybe by a water main break, and all the water will rush to the point where the water comes out of the main. And when it does that, it draws water from different directions. And let's say someone had their garden hose attached to an aspirator. This actually could cause the liquids to come from the aspirator to the piping within the home and contaminate the drinking water. Another aspect of back siphonage is when someone could open up the fire hydrant and as before the water rush to the point where it comes out of the fire hydrant. Another point in backflow is back pressure and that's when the pressure uh, becomes greater than the supply side. Certain equipment can cause back pressure such as boilers and fire pumps and equipment such as that. Customers can protect themselves by being careful in how they use their garden hose. One is do not submerge your garden hose to any substance or liquids that are unknown. Uh, and one is the reason is you could contaminate the tip of your garden hose or just on the inside of your garden hose. Two, customers should never hook their garden hose to an aspirator. That is a device with a tank that is hooked to the garden hose that you would distribute uh, lawn irrigation, fertilizer, and or pesticides. One of the alternatives to the aspirator is a pump sprayer. And you can find those at any pump supply house. And three, uh, never submerge your garden hose inside of your pool water and leave it there. One of the additive measures that a customer can do is install a hose bib vacuum breaker and this screws right onto the spigot of their home. Very easy to do. You install the hose bib vacuum breakers on all your spigots to your home and then you can attach your garden hose to the hose bib vacuum breaker, thereby help protecting backflow. There are other protective measures that are built into the home, such as an anti-siphon valve that's installed inside of the toilets. Then also your spigots and your sinks and your bathtubs are already installed at the point to where it will protect against backflow. If you have a second meter installed at your home for the purpose of irrigation, uh, you are also protected by installing a backflow prevention assembly and this helps protect our drinking water as well. PwC has a program that's specifically for lawn irrigation residential customers and this program will uh, allow our contractor to come out and test your backflow preventer on your lawn irrigation system on a biannual basis. The purpose of this is to make sure that the backflow preventer is working properly. Over the years I have seen numerous instances that could possibly contaminate the drinking water but because we have took the precautions in installing backflow preventers we have prevented many accidents from occurring in our system. So certainly backflow prevention is very important because we do want to make sure that our customers get good, clean drinking water. To learn more about backflow prevention, you can go to PwC's website at fayppwc.com and then from there you can learn a lot more about how to protect your drinking water.